COVID liability protections for businesses and health providers may soon become the first major policy sent to the governor this year. House members teed up for a teed up the bill for a final vote tomorrow. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders takes a look. The liability protections have been another of the GOP majority's top goals this legislative session, and tomorrow they look poised to put it one step away from becoming law. With the governor's signature, SB 72 gives businesses and health providers like nursing homes new protections from COVID-related lawsuits. When filing, plaintiffs would need to prove via clear and convincing evidence a defendant acted with gross negligence. The bill also shielding those who make a good faith effort to follow virus protections. Not only do supporters think approval will cut down on frivolous lawsuits, they say it'll protect workers. But you can also look at this as protecting their jobs because it protects their employers. And so it's, in that way, I think it does protect them. To date, few COVID-related lawsuits have been filed. And while supporters think they're preventing a surge, opponents call the bill a solution in search of a problem. Democrats have largely been opposed, saying the policy is written too broadly. Representative Fentress Driscoll telling us she plans to vote down. It really creates an access to courts issue. It basically makes it such that people have too high of a burden to, to file a lawsuit such that they can actually get uh, relief. Despite the opposition, Republicans are likely to pass the bill and the governor is expected to sign. With his signature, SB 72 takes effect immediately. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.